on they come now. Hong Kong versus Guam. A lot of interest, obviously, locally in the Hong Kong side. You've played alongside a lot of these players, Rosie. If you can just stay in your seat for 14 minutes, don't be <laughs> tempted to run down there and scream out support or... I'll try not to shout into the mic. <laughs> Eunice Tay, referee from Singapore. Here's our team, Hong Kong. A lot of experienced campaigners in there. And Guam. Just my through it. Only one of the flottest girls in the side. Remember the, the qualifiers for the Olympics. They, one of the Guam players, I think they have like 23 registered players, the coach was telling me. One of them was also Miss Guam, who couldn't make the qualifier. She was off competing in Miss World or something, Miss Universe. Got some athletic players, but uh, not really a, a rugby nation. And with that many registered players, always going to be hard. Aggie Poon with the ball in hand. Eunice Tay gets us underway. And that's a nice deep one for Guam to contend with straight away. They take it off the bat like that. And that's a good little exit there, bringing it back. is good from Guam taking on testing that Hong Kong line early be easy for them just to sit back and let Hong Kong have their way with them but good positive exit there from Guam good to see Hong Kong getting a chance to work out the defensive structures early on which they probably also appreciate getting the chance to do is that Natasha Olsen Thorne there with a trademark clean out. Here goes Aggie Poon, throws out the long one to Colin Chosfold, steps off the right, off the right again, and Poon's on hand with those dazzling green boots. The one of the superstars of Hong Kong rugby goes in and gets Hong Kong's account open here with home ground advantage. Great reaction from Nam Karman. Going for the quick tap and look, seeing where the overlap was. Continuity support. That'll get their confidence up a little bit. It's a very strong lineup out there. Aggie Poon representing Hong Kong in the Asian Games as a sprinter. From the Gai Wu Falcons, and that's a good little dainty chip start. Adrian Garvey can't quite collect it. Trouble brewing there for Guam, and they go for the quick one, but too quick, in fact, because Amanda Cruz was just preparing herself for the line out and had a ball chucked at her knee, so that's not going to help them. Cindy Ewan of the feed. Christy Cheng on this side. There's a big black cloud comes over the stadium. Chosfold to Th Olsen Thorne. Tries to take on Kuchoko on the outside and she finally hauls her down. It's not easy to put Natasha down. Colleen Chosfold's there, picks it up, has a look. and trying to go around the outside and eventually a knock on there but adventurous uh -huh. stuff great support play from hong kong they're keeping up with each other just got very dark out there so it's like a big black cloud sitting right on top of us and the heavens could open at any moment guam now with a difficult exit what can they do at scrum time? They secure their own ball. And a rib buster up high there, inviting the defenders. Tugua scrambles a couple of metres, but Colleen Chosfold is too alert, takes the quick tap, and over she goes for try number two to Hong Kong. It's good alert play from Chosfold. Hong Kong are looking very switched on. They'll be wanting to start with a heads up. Three, 
Scrum half Cindy Yoon, is she a relatively new name to the squad? Or? No, no, she's been around for quite a while. But she was injured uh, earlier this year. Her first tournament back was um, when they went to Dublin for the repechage. Okay. So this will be her second tournament back. Looking to put her stamp back on. Kick is away, so 12-0. Two and a half minutes remaining. And not the kick of the day there, so a free kick back on halfway for Guam. And finally going to get into Hong Kong's half. Let's see what they can do now with a bit of ball in hand. Christy Cheng there just talking on defence. He's all about communication. Graham getting organised. This is to RJ. A bit poorly done, poorly executed there. No support from a set move. Garvey with the stop and go and wrong foots her opposite number before getting nudged over the sideline by Olivia Flores. Graham not really looking like they had a move on there. Just tap and go and no one else seemed to know what was going on. And easily defended by Hong Kong. Nice bounce, a kind bounce, but they're behind the gain line. There's shots first, goes in hard on the ball. Garvey it was, sorry. There goes Olsen Thorne, throws out a loose one, getting the bounce. Bounce nicely, Cindy Yuen. And <laughs> then you love it when that happens. When the ref calls a penalty and you've got the ball and all the defenders are past you and you just have to walk it across. Probably Isles and Thorns, easiest try. Try number three. Kong will have Singapore in round two later today and then finishing up with Japan at 6.58 p.m. tonight. People will be knocking off work in Hong Kong, hopefully coming down to the stadium to watch that one on a Friday evening here at the football club in the heart of Hong Kong. It's three tries to nil with just a few seconds remaining in this first tile of half. Just fault goes deep and they've let it bounce and it sails across the sideline. It's time for a line out. Yes, there is. <laughs> Levina Tilaje drops it in. Hood is gone and Guam. Keen to have a go. Skills just letting them down a bit. Getting in the road of each other and eventually comes to an end. So half time. Hong Kong three tries, 19 points. Guam nil. As we brace ourselves for some torrential rain. Hong Kong 19, Guam 0. And if you're going to be watching this tournament tomorrow at the knockout stages from about 1 p.m. Hong Kong time, the game will be going out live on rugbypass.com. Get on to that. Get yourself a free monthly subscription if you're not already a member. For the rest of today and early tomorrow, we'll be on this stream. League one of the Asia Rugby Seven Series. Moving to Seoul in Korea in two weeks' time. Three weeks' time, in fact. September 24th and 5th. And then Colombo, Sri Lanka, 15th and 16th of October. This edition of the series. 
men's and women's, eight team from the men's, eight from the women's, battling it out for Asian supremacy in the shortened version of our game. It's coach Anna Richards, Hall of Famer, five Rugby World Cups, won four of them. It's not bad, is it? Very good. Hong Kong will be looking to reduce their errors. Their defence is actually looking really, really strong. They're not leaving any gap for Guam to go through. What do you want to get out of these early games, Rosie, especially against weaker competition, is it? You just want to make sure you catch the ball, you play to your structures, and you don't really want to rush anything. It's easy to get carried away, isn't it, oh. against uh, a weaker opponent? Very. Everybody gets a bit of white line fever. Mm. Guam will be looking to protect their own ball a little bit more. Diolani Quintigua with the kick out. And again, that one's bounced. Ivy Kwong lets it sail over ahead this time. And Joss Volt goes left, goes right. Looks for who's supporting her. And it's a hamstring buster there to Melody Lee, who can't quite take it. So plain advantage for Guam now. Not had much ball, so they'll be enjoying this, but they just need to pick it up. It's a little bit wet down there, a little bit of spit going on. Eventually, too much pressure. Here goes Natasha Olsen Thorne. Look at the leg drive going. This is Nam Coman. Bursting through goes Cindy Yearn. And outside her, she's got Chosfold as the rain comes slanting in. A jinking, weaving, mazy run, and Chosfold's going to go all the way by the looks of it. And that's an 80 metre coast to coast try. And here comes the rain. Try number four. Nicely done, Hong Kong. Chosfold really looking on, to work on her footwork. She's been practicing it every time she's got the ball, managing to get past many different players. Got to get her breath back to convert her own kick, uh, which she does not. Peggy Poon has left the field, so Josfold takes over the kicking. She's still trying to get the oxygen in and brace herself for a kick. How did John Eels do it in that Letters Low Cup match? Beating New Zealand after the Huda. The legs must be heavy. Rain now, it's come belting down, straight down it comes. It's 1.18 in the afternoon, local time. People might be on their lunch breaks thinking, should I go down there and watch the rugby? Look out the window, no thanks. Natasha Olsen Thorne now gets the bounce. And throwing player after player off her like a wrestler. And on hand is Ivy Kwong, straight from the kickoff. Not handled once again by the opponents. We've seen lots of this. And you're just asking for trouble if you can't at least field the ball uh, and do something with it. So try number five, 29 nil now. It's Marky Komar, sun's out, guns out, runs around with the water. There's plenty of that now. So kick is away, 29 nil. Really hammering down here. It would have taken a lot of the heat out of this pitch. The pitch can be five, six degrees warmer than the actual air temperature. Ah, uh, yes, nicely taken. Off the restart. The big knee goes in. Can she pick it up? No, it's been knocked on. That was a great tackle from Gaia Chong. A much bigger girl. Yeah. Anisha Nedlik came around the side there and thought, I'm going to have a piece of you. But Chong went low. Took it down. Big tree. Big push from Guam off that one, but Hong Kong gets it back and 
she is the tackler Chong, but slippery ball, can't take it. And with 29 points on the board and three minutes remaining, there's nothing really more to prove except to retain the shape a little bit. They'll be a bit annoyed at themselves with that one. It's a two versus one. Big overlap, unfortunately, rain just causing a bit of problem. Hong Kong this time decide to put a bit of push on themselves there. Flung back on the inside and Melody Lee is on hand, but she also can't take it. It's the rats and mice. Now the details. Looks like Hong Kong's fully rolled their bench. Chosfold, Poon are all off, and Olsen Thorne, so... Everyone's getting a chance in the first match. Melody Lee this time, trying to reach through and get the intercept, but it's not bad on. It's all gone a bit scrappy, and the winner's to blame for a lot of that. Line speed from Hong Kong is good. I'm just passing that off and not really looking at the player. A no-look pass, unnecessary really. We seem to be stuck in this one part of the ground for the last minute or two. Coming up next, we move to the men's side of the draw and we kick things straight off with Olympic fourth place getters Japan who will be taking on China and very much looking forward to that. Meanwhile down here, Hong Kong come away. Five tries on the board. They want to finish with another one at least. Trying conditions out there. Chong Ka Yan this time. She does it. She wrong foots her opponent. Good bit of footwork and bolting around and ooh, she knocked that on. Looks like she's knocked it on in goal and that's a tragedy. You've just got to dive on the ground slippery out there and that's you've got to say good work from Guam for making an effort very good defense and a little bit sloppy from Chong so you won't want to see that on the highlights Hong Kong will be looking to put a lot of pressure and get that ball back Very hard to work your way out of there, isn't it? Rain in your face. And <laughs> you struggle, struggle to get it across the sideline and just put a full stop after this match. Started out all guns blazing. Hong Kong also coming out, showing some great initial form. Putting five tries on Guam, who haven't really had much chance. But Hong Kong we be happy with some parts of that game and not so happy with others. Plenty to work on, but good to see some of the stars getting their first tries of the tournament. Aggie Poon, Austin Thorne, Colin Schosfold. I don't think I saw Christy Ching at all. Very anonymous in that game. Usually doing the grafting somewhere. There's Austin Thorne's try. Here's Joss Fold's second. Five tries, two converted. Good big win to Hong Kong. Plenty to work on for Guam. And they'll have plenty of chances to improve on that over the course of today and tomorrow. Hong Kong 29, Guam nil.